It's being called the stadium of the future and this morning the Jags unveiled images of what they want their new stadium to look like in downtown Jacksonville and it is ambitious to say the least but on your sides Rich Donnelly joins us live from outside the stadium with how these plans affect more than just the team. That's correct, Katie. If the project that the Jacksonville Jaguars unveiled today is actually completed, then it will completely transform this part of downtown Jacksonville. What was once considered to be an awning that would cover fans during hot summer days is really becoming far more involved. We'd like to show you some video of what these plans look like, some renderings from the Jaguars video that they released this morning. The new renderings show a roof over the entire stadium. But this does not appear to be a closed dome. Another portion of the video shows that there are still open air concourses, which have in fact been widened. The video states that the concourses will be four times wider than the current concourses in the stadium right now. The roof that's in the video is translucent and allows sunlight in, but there's also a canopy directly over the seats. And the video claims that this will reduce the heat factor by 70% for the fans. Aside from the roof and expanded concourses, the video also shows that more of the area around the stadium will be developed, including the Four Seasons Hotel, which has been approved, as well as buildings that replace Lot J, which would be a new development. The video also shows other events like the Florida Georgia game, the Gator Bowl, but also adds concerts, soccer games, and even the final four as possible events that can happen with the addition of the roof. Coming up later this afternoon, we expect to hear from the Jaguars themselves and we will speak with them about what their plans are for this roof, the rest of the stadium and including development within this property around TIAA Bank Field. All that coming up later today at five and six o'clock on First Coast News.